um, you just released your CD here in the U.S., right? And uh, I saw, I shot. I shot. That was never a CD. I shot. That was never a CD. Uh, so, what genre do you call yourself? Like, what what genre do you think you are? Well, you know, it's soul, soul music. It sounds like soul. It's soulful, but the words are just. It's a fusion. You know, you can't escape to, you can avoid uh, at least you know hearing a, a bit of jazz, a bit of hip hop, a bit of uh, reggae influence. You know, my style of music. So soul music with a fusion, you know. Yeah. Speaking of reggae, when when people ask also, I tell them, I uh, think of Bob Marley, Fela, and Tracy Chapman in one person, and then you have it. That, that's how I always describe it to them. Uh, is that is that, that that sounds right about okay? Right? That's close. Uh, close, not there. Right? No, yours is probably bigger than that, but it's cool. Um, okay, so um, you released the same CD because. Excuse me, I thought um, you were releasing a new CD or something. It's the same CD that's being released here now. You did big in Nigeria, and in fact, in Africa and Europe. And funny enough, you have more French fans than people would believe. And um, I want to know why that is. Uh, I, rumor has it, not rumor, but I hear you are born in France or you lived there. What was it? Um, I was born in France, and my the the album was first released in france you know france was where i started uh a, a successful journey into music lagos was the beginning lagos was where i learned you know my morals whatever you hear now it's from lagos is influenced by nigeria and uh, france was uh you know one stone. yeah stepping stone yeah um okay so your most of your album was written by you and cobams is cobams around is in atlanta this time? no no cobams is busy back home I, cooking I, more beats I'm, I'm kind of a fan of cobams you know i i saw a little performance you did with him i'll, I'll go into that later and um so most of your albums written by you and cobams and was this have you always known cobam like before france or was it mainly in france before france? always known him we've been friends for five years now yeah five years so if it's just five years and he wrote part of your album with you that means you probably wrote that album in how long just how short a while uh, you know i started professionally six years so that's not so long ago but i've been singing all my life i decided to you know when it was time to 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 bring out you know cd Okay, I'm gonna admit I I watched another show where um, Fumi and I interviewed you, and um, I think she that was when I first found out you were in a choir growing up and all that. So you're right, you haven't singing all your life, but you've only been doing it professional for six years. Um, I want to go ahead and say this is already a successful big career than just six years, because people it takes people a lot longer time. Um, I grew up in the same neighborhood as Two Face which I'll go back into, Two-Face and Face and Blackface, and we used to play ball together back then, and it was so hard. Yeah, I grew up in Festac, yeah. So, I grew up there too. You did? Oh, well, I grew up all over Festac. 322, 5th Avenue, 7th Avenue, 24th Road. That's very close to where I ended up, 7th Avenue. Wow, that, that's good. She, she, she's a Festac girl right there. Get it right. Get it right. Shouts out to Harriet. Harriet also was a Festac girl for like two seconds. So, um, yeah, um, so, Basically, I know it's so hard. It was hard for Plantation Boys when they first came out. I mean, they had been doing it for a while, and then in 99, they got the break. Um, I don't want to go ahead and say it was easy for you, because six years, it probably wasn't, you know, especially with the journey you've been through your whole life or whatnot. But, um, I mean, it must feel good that in six years you're this big already, isn't it? Well, um, yes, it's good. You know, I, I, I'm thankful, you know. I'm, I'm thankful that when I started, I was most careful. I was most, you know, most patient. I did get into trouble here and there. Uh, you know, every new artist goes through this. You, you get to sign the wrong contracts, and I know what I went through. You know that that moment, those moments were dark, dark days for me. But um, you know, patience, uh, patience. And when you believe, uh, I think things will fall into yeah, place. Sounds about good. I've been believing all my life. Things haven't quite gotten there, but, but amen, amen. You like, there's a line where you go, um, me no like to lie. White is white and black is black. Or is it black is black and white is white? White is white and black is black. Okay, so um, 
where were you going with that? Where were you going with that? Because I, I have my view on it. I guess we're supposed to just take your music in hell and, you know, go with it. But where were you going with that? It was simple. I didn't want to lie. Not about race, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, with that said, okay, you said it's not about race, right? But I always tell people, you know, at the end of the day, a white man is the white man. And I love white people. I love everybody. And but but people try to do this whole there's always racial tension among them now i feel we can love people because they're different you know people try to always say oh there's no difference we're all the same yes we're all human beings but there's a difference to me i, I don't know if that's where you're going with that because you're trying to dodge the question oh, absolutely. okay it's about uh it's lies if you hear the yoruba part is iro gumada iro it's just about lies and truth. You know, um, people come up to me and give me their interpretations. And some of them I appreciate. And some of them I just smile, you know, because probably I wasn't thinking of that when, when you, you know, when I wrote the song. So this, I kind of leave space in the song. It's, it's not just what I say, you know, that you should go with you you should be able to interpret in your way and I think that's how you know when reading a book you know you have your picture you make your images in your mind and when you listen to that song I was just innocent, innocently talking about lies yeah okay Asha okay Asha I hear you um okay so when I bootlegged your CD no offense people no offense I oh, I, I got only 10 tracks so Eva was kind of left out Later on, I found out about Iba and I was like, oh my God, because that's one of my favorite tracks now. Not because I only I heard it like in the last three months, but it's a really different track. And um, I, I can touch on each of your tracks one by one, but I don't want to. Let me ask this though. For the US release you're releasing now, is, are there any added tracks or is it the same 11 that someone like me bootleg? <laughs> well, um, we, we are starting uh, fresh in the US. And it's just like we released yesterday, you know, like you know, this album has been going on in the in, in Europe for close to uh, it's one and a half years, close to one and a half years. And so we are coming to the U.S. as fresh, as new as possible, you know, in mind that keeping in mind that we're we're going to have to start almost the same way. Uh, hopefully, you know, I hope to sneak in a few new songs you know, that I have written on the way, but uh, in the meantime, we're gonna, you know, give it to the people as fresh and as new, as patient as we can. Yeah. Um, speaking of which, I'm always jealous of all these Nigerians. I've gotten to see you perform. So we got to see you perform tonight at the Woka Festival, which Afro Just and Just will be at. Um, so your performances are very, in, I don't want to say intense, but they're very, um, what's the word? They're very involved, like they involve everybody. Like. Uh, I know the crowd pleaser is Bibank all the time. I say it all the time. Like when, whenever you do perform that, you know people are always singing along and stuff. But um, tonight, when you're performing, like is there, is there particular things you're going to be performing, or are you just going to do the whole album and medley? What is it? We'll see. Since you're performing at the World Cup thing today, I mean, I know, I know you don't really touch on those things in particular in your songs. I know in a few songs you, you refer to your grandmother and your mother, and in fact, one of your lines that touches because I was raised by a single mother myself. Uh, I don't know if you were, but I was raised by a single mother, and there's a song where you go um, in Toriomo, Oji, and Leoko. Now, it's not, now my stepfather, I have a stepfather who wasn't always there per se, but it's not that he was a violent man or anything, but you know, because of us kids, her two kids that weren't his, you know, things would come up. And um, I don't know if that was a personal thing for you, was it? Yeah, it was very personal and true. It's still personal, so you can't even say anything about it now? Oh uh, no no I I don't have it. oh you mean if I can yeah. talk about the song yeah basically oh yeah you know it's so beautiful uh it's, um it's you know a tribute to my mother and you know I'm saying thank you you know because I knew uh you know the African woman it's it's not that rosy you know it's, we don't have much say you know and I know how hurting it can be when you try to change. Uh, a man, you know, you spend all those years trying to change, hoping, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be good. So I, f I saw all of this while growing up, and I knew she was in so much pain, you know. But the only reason why she stayed was just for us, you know. So, I, so thank you. So much. 
it's a thank you song, people. So you guys just take that and go with it. I, I have my own views on that. Um, okay, so lastly, lastly, you're in the U.S. for a U.S. tour. I don't want to ask how long you're going to be around so that they don't know because, you know, we don't know what happens nowadays. But um, do you have a plan on probably moving down here or is it going to be a Niger thing? Or is it going to be a Europe thing in France? Or do you have a plan? Is it wherever life carries? Yeah. See, you see, Forever. in another life, out of being ha. Very, 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 you see, we think the same. Yeah, but so it's wherever life carries you and yeah. that's what, that's the plan? Yeah. Okay, so. But I do have, you know, my, my base, you know, I'm, I'm between Paris and Lagos, but, you know, wherever life carries me and, you know, that's where I lay, lay my bed. Asha, it's, it's, it's a lovely thing. I want to thank you so much for this interview. Thank you, thank you for stopping thank to see us and.